A lobbyist now at the center of a local corruption scandal could be released from jail within hours. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live downtown with the lengths that relatives of Marco Polo Cortez were willing to go to to secure his release. Steve. That hearing I take in the building across the street was delayed a few days so the family of Marco Polo Cortez could put up some personal property, a home to guarantee that he'll appear in court when he's supposed to. A subdued Marco Polo Cortez was dressed in a white jail jumpsuit as he appeared before U.S. District Judge William Gallo. Not the dapper lobbyist often seen making the rounds at City Hall in years past. Cortez has a poor track record with court appearances, having violated conditions of release 15 times when prosecuted for two DUIs a few years ago. But Judge Gallo wouldn't grant release last week based on that history. He suggested that having a relative put up a house Someone who might be put out on the streets if he breaks the rules, that might get his attention. The defendant's sister, Lupita Cortez, signed a surety bond, putting up her home to win his freedom. Cortez was arrested in connection with a scheme to pump half a million dollars into San Diego elections, including the mayor's race. He's reported to be one of at least three middlemen, funneling large sums of money from Mexican millionaire Susumo Ozano into political action committees or PACs. It's illegal for citizens of other countries to contribute to campaigns in the United States. The prosecutor said Azano wanted to turn San Diego into Miami West. Records show Cortez meeting with mayoral candidate David Alvarez 10 times since the beginning of 2012. He comes to the city council and he meets with staff and, um, and he shows up to meetings and to committee meetings. There is one face-to-face -face listed between Cortez and candidate Kevin Faulkner. Cortez also had to surrender his passport, no travel outside Southern California. He asked to attend a wedding uh, in April down in Mexico. That's been denied for now, but it could be reconsidered. He could be free tonight. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.